inexperience of Mass has now caught him. The two leaders using that draft have been able to snap the whip and drop him off, and he has fallen way back from Schrader and Earnhardt, who are sparring to decide how this 500 will be decided. There you see them, both looking for their first 500 victory. Ken Schrader in the number 25, and the man in black, Dale Earnhardt, three-time Winston Cup champion, but he's never won this one. At one point, this race, average speed was down as low as 128 in a fraction of miles an hour. They've brought it back up now to 145.122, but they're running over 190 lap after lap. The race is being decided here on the two-and-a-half-mile high banks of the Daytona Speedway, but shortly it will be decided on pit road. That's where this race will probably reach its conclusion. One of these cars will make a pit stop just a quick second before the other, and that will make the difference. Uh, second on pit road, there is Sterling Marlin in. A second on pit road can equal about 300 feet on the track. Another lap put down through the trioval comes Schrader and Earnhardt. The longer they stay out, the less gas they'll need to get to the checkered flag. It will really be a splash. Hendrick Racing Stable in front. Richard Childress Racing in second. Ken Schrader, his fifth performance here. Dale Earnhardt, who's come here for many years. Come close. Ricky Rudd pitting. Car number 26, running back in 19th spot. Well, they started to peel off for this last fuel stop. Some of the cars that burn a lot of gas are already in. Schrader has been getting a better mileage of any other driver on this racetrack, but he doesn't have enough gas to get to the checkered flag. Ricky Rudd back underway. Schrader and Earnhardt both pitting, coming in at the identical time. Leaderboard Jones, 11 laps to go. Here's Dave Despain. Schrader came in first and brought Earnhardt early. He barely stopped the tires. Let's go to Mike Joy. Schrader stops a little short of his pit, so he's in here for 6.0 seconds. A longer stop, and look at the distance from Earnhardt back to Schrader on the racetrack. He didn't hit it right where the gas man was standing, and it cost them. 150 yards is the interval now. And that might be tough to make up, depending on who Earnhardt can get to draft. Let's go back to the pits and Dave to Spain. They call him Chocolate Myers, Danny Myers. Have you ever done it better? I don't think so. Was it enough to give him the race, you yeah, think? we got enough to go. They got enough to finish the race, and it looks like they might have enough space to win it. Chocolate Danny Myers, the son of uh, the famous Myers brothers, uh, Billy and Bobby Myers, who were such great racers back in the 50s, both of them deceased now. Johnny Hayes has created a thing called the All Pros, the best pit men in the business, and the pit members are all allowed to vote themselves for the top guy in each position. That ought to give Danny Myers a real crack at it next year as one of those top men over the wall. Here you see Alan Kowicki. Here's Bodine having just a bit of a problem firing car number five, and he's back on his way. Boy, he didn't stay in long. There's the leader, Kowicki. He has not pitted as yet. No, nor has Dower Walker. Mike Joy. I'm with Richard Broom. Richard, what happened? That's a pretty big pit sign there. I don't know. He just didn't come all the way to us, and it screwed us up. But we can probably recover. Well, Ken, oftentimes the driver will worry about oversliding his pit. So Schrader may be on the brakes a little bit early and with an awful lot at stake here, stopping just a little bit short. The eight laps to go this time by. Kowicki stays in front. Waltrip stays in second. Wonder what their range is. We'll find out shortly. two cars have yet to pit. Alan Kowicki, the young man from Wisconsin who won his first Winston Cup race last year in Phoenix, Arizona, and the number 17 of Waltrip. They have yet to come on pit road. Will they do it now, or will they elect to stay out? They are running long into the race. 194 laps will com be complete this time by, and six laps to go. You heard Ned Jarrett say at the top of the program, five laps to go, that this fellow Kowicki didn't care that much about this Daytona track, but his style of driving, that conservative style of driving, may be paying off here. Working for him today, no question about that. But those Chevy drivers, Dale Earnhardt in third and Ken Schrader in fourth, and Schrader is eating up 
Earnhardt. Now he was 2.59 seconds behind. He's right on this back bumper. It's going to be a battle right down to the wire when those other two leaders go for fuel. Here they are. Earnhardt. Here comes Schrader, the inside. He is going for third position. 7 and 17 have yet to pit. Schrader pulls into third. And it looks like he might be able to drive on away from Earnhardt and maybe even break the draft. Apparently the leaderboard has gone a lap down to the track because they're now showing five laps. We're showing four. There's the interval. We're waiting for that third and fourth place car to come about. They still haven't come in. to go. Now Earnhardt appears to have picked up the draft of Kenny Schrader, so he's going to be able to run with him, but Schrader, as Chris pointed out, has just, it, it didn't take him long to make up more than two and a half seconds. He ran Earnhardt down in a hurry, but they still got those two cars out in front of him, wondering, are they going to be able to go that 55 laps on a tank of fuel? Boy, if they are, they've got some engine, man. It's a Ford out front right now. Four to go. There are four laps to go. And Schrader and Earnhardt trying to move in. The gas mileage master on Thursday, Terry Labonte, one of them at least, uh, just pitted a lap or two ago. So Seven he slowing down. Him. 17 is by himself. Evidently, he's out of gas. Cole Wickey is out of gas. Ran it lean. Down the back straightaway. He's slowing down. 17. Waltrip in front. I think he's going to take the gamble. I believe he will. What has yeah, he got to lose? To go. That's right. And the yeah. only thing they remember is first place. Kowicki dives onto pit road. Alan Kowicki brings the number seven down. It's over for him. Mike Joy. Alan Kowicki comes to a stop after running 52 laps on this tank full of gas. To win the race, that's over. To count on a good finish, he'll have to put on right side tires, so this will be all too long a stop. An eternity for the young driver from Wisconsin. 13.1 seconds, tremendous stop, but it won't win the Daytona 500. Well, Mike, maybe the problem was a flat tire instead of being out of fuel because they should not have needed to change tires here with just a lap or two to go. Wallace makes up a lap on the leader, 17. The question is how long has Darrell Walter been out on this tank of fuel? Looking back at the leader, Darrell Waltrip, from Rusty Wallace's camera. Final moments of the 31st Daytona 500. Waltrip to the inside. I think he's running on a prayer. <laughs> he's got to be on prayer. I'll, I'll guarantee you he's saying a lot of prayers. Less than two laps to go. Crew standing by. Hoping, praying that that car will just pick up enough gas to go these last laps. To Dave Despain. Our records indicate Walter pitted on 144, same as everybody else, but have had that same 56 laps to go. If there's any magic in there, it's magic that they put in before the race. It wasn't magic on the pit stop. He is drafting all around the track off anyone he can find, trying to conserve fuel. The white flag is out. And Schrader's wife. Looking on. She can't Tension believe he can go that far on a tank of fuel that Darrell Walter can. He's drafting, trying to save every bit of fuel he possibly can. In the last lap, the interval is immense. It's a question of fuel. Can Walter hold out? He can coast in now, I think. Yeah, he's about close enough now that he could coast across the start finish line and still win. Out of turn four, after 17 years of effort, the Daytona 500 belongs to Franklin, Tennessee's Darrell Waltrip. He's done it. He's done it. Second place at stake to the line. Number 25. Schrader will take second. Seven seconds back, almost eight. And right behind him comes Dale Earnhardt. Do you believe it? 
What an incredible finish. Hard to believe that he could go that far on the tank of fuel. Well, a lot of gas tank ever get looked at in the inspection. Mike Joy is down there with a very ecstatic Jeff, Jeff Hammond and Jeff company. Hammond surrounded by well-wishers. I can't drag him out of the crowd. Jeff, turn around here. What a gamble and did it pay off. I can't believe it. Oh, man. We, we knew whenever Cannon broke away from us that we couldn't catch him. They were running too fast. So Darrell automatically went to plan two and said, hey, let's draft. Just draft everybody and anybody. And we just didn't worry about the speed. We just kept hanging in there. We knew the only way we could win this race. We had to beat them on mileage, and we did. Stevie, Stevie Walter, can you believe it after all these years and everything? Well, it's, it's hard to say what I'm feeling, but I just praise the Lord for, for our victory. And, and most of all, I, I give this victory to Linda Riddle, my dear friend, and I love you, and this, is, this one's for you. Here comes the Orange Tide Chevrolet toward Victory Lane. Ken Squire. <laughs>